channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lauren. And uh, for those of you who are back, thank you. And uh, if you notice, I'm wearing a really big sweater. <laughs> I love this sweater. So my boyfriend uh, got me this sweater for Christmas and uh, it's really big. You guys have probably seen the sweater before. It's the one that you can kind of hide your feet in. Besides this comfy sweater, my boyfriend also bought me this bag that's meant for cameras. So that way I can travel safely with my gear. And it even has an easy access pocket for when I'm like trying to hurry up and take out my camera. There's actually just one pocket that I have to go through to bring it out. So that's really great. And I also have a protective layer right here. And you can also fit a laptop as well. Anyway, so the purpose of this video is not to show you what's in my bag, but the main reason for this video is gonna be this most expensive film that I've ever bought in my life. This is the Fuji Natura 1600 speed film. And What's so great about this film? Well, I guess we'll find out. This film is no longer in production. They're no longer selling it. If you do happen to find it, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. This I found on eBay. I found two for 100, which of course makes it 50-50. This video is gonna be me using the world's most expensive film along with one of the world's most expensive cameras, which is a Leica camera. This is the most beautiful camera I've ever seen, which makes me sad because I did like my Canon AE-1 and now I'm kind of confused of which one I want to use on the daily. So that is gonna be the video. So next time you see me, I'll be in California and I most likely am gonna shoot this at Universal. Hopefully this one you know, it's to my liking, but so far I'm not impressed with the regular Fuji color.
Does it move? <laughs> oh, it does move. Everybody, this is future Lauren um, future Lauren is here to talk about how that film went so I did already say that Fuji film is not my favorite and that still reigns true not to mention I'm still wearing the same fuzzy sweater so with this film I did have a couple issues and that was with mainly my Leica camera I had used it the day before for Christmas with a different film and that one, it worked out fine. My only issue was that when I used it at Universal, my light meter just decided to not work. I don't exactly know what happened. So I ended up putting it in automatic, which is something I'm not really fond of. I like to use my own settings to it, but it wasn't registering in the light meter. So I put it on automatic. Some of these photos came out, I think, great. Um, so my favorite one was the one with the flying pig in front of the castle. And then my second favorite is the car. I just like the green tones from it, which I know. I don't like Fujifilm, but it has that green tone. Yeah, I know. And another one that I liked was with one at the castle. And you guys already saw it. But that was my third favorite. Now, a thing that I had an issue with and I've heard people say this before, was that the grain in the film, that was my issue. And another issue of mine was sometimes I couldn't even use the film. So for whatever reason, if it was cloudy, my pictures came out so crappy. But the nighttime ones were really nice. And then the ones where full daylight hit was good. Now, would I buy this film again? Well, I have another roll. But would I use this film again? Maybe but I do have other favorites that are so much cheaper and have less grain. The grain was definitely my biggest issue with this besides my camera acting up. But yeah, I mean, I hope you guys liked this video. If you like it, go ahead and like it, subscribe, comment. If you'd like to see more, please comment that as well. Um, thank you everybody for watching and see you next time.